Greetings, Cosmos. And welcome back to Ed Labyrinth. I forget where I was. Let's see, wasn't I in Hall C? Right, I think I finished Hall C. Yeah. So, you, tell me things. The original science. Everyone to my left, okay. Storage unit. Ah, the storage. Good memories. We've already thoroughly tested all of these experiments, so we store them away for the big day. You might find them to be not as groundbreaking. But leave some O's and A's for good measure, okay? Okay. Cockex Road by Eight Lou Storm. Oh my. I assume this is going to involve sliding. Yes! Alright, can I walk on this thing? I can. Okay, this one's actually pretty interesting to me, even if it's a... Uh... Too boring for... The science contest. Okay, made it all the way through. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Okay, that's just for a star coin. But. There we go. I do want it. Okay, so how do I get to there? Okay, and I get one shot of this, so I'd better do it right. Oh no, what am I doing? Okay, wait until it's down below, because then it won't be down when I'm up. Start sliding. We oh nice strike. <laughs> that was a fun level. Even if this is still a well understood mechanic, it's a good demonstration of it. You know what? Show it to him. Moles have no business here. I've always said this. Reckless murder of wildlife. Wow, did you see the replay check how fast it slid? What a strike. Fun slide, especially the bowling ball strike at the end. Morton Mole is no match for Puck Glamo. Puck Glamo slides. Puck Glamo cries. Morton Mole dies. To slide is to be practical. Realistic problems require down-to-earth solutions. Quite. Very understandable mechanic. Got... A bit stuck on the last setup though. Cool mechanics, perfect length, neat setups, and progression. I love this one so much, SMBX Light never fails to surprise me. Alright, now for the third of all things Vertigo by Tangy. Okay, so this looks like it's just, uh, Okay, that was a mistake on my end. Anyway, this looks like it's just, oh hey look, you can attach layers to things and make them bounce. Hey, what if I... Bonk that to stop that layer from moving. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so I don't know how full this is going up. Okay. Ah! Okay. On the one hand, my fault for doing the jump the way I did. On the other hand... Okay, so I want to just run out of this and then when this descends... Okay, so... Oh, hey! It broke into place. Okay, so then... Okay, so... Okay, so while this is going up, that's when I want to hop. Okay. Okay. I like the concept of this level, but I do not like the execution. Like, one mistake makes you start over is not... is not good when it's this easy to make mistakes. Okay, so... Woo. Okay, so then... Okay. This is the top. Okay. Okay, at least this level is pretty short. Hmm. Yeah, the longer you go where any mistake will make you start over, the more intense it is. I am impressed by the capabilities of the humble tortoise every day. Clarity! The, behavior's limit, the behavior exhibited in this anomaly is not unique to tortoises. Reminiscent of a fluffy experiment best kept locked away. Okay, that's a re reference sign I'm not sure I get. Layer attachments might blow- Whoa, watch when you jump. You don't want to bump your head. I'm told Isaac Newton once attempted an ontological definition of force. It did not bode well. While it shows the mechanic well, it's not well fleshed out. Overall, B? In spite of most rankings being C's or D's? Does, some, does one person's rating matter more? Or am I not understanding the scoring system here? Wait, what's this? Heh, yep, I did that. Wait, what? What did you do? Snake Block Magician by Mario Challenger X2. Okay, Mario Challenger X2. Uh-oh. Okay. 
I like the frequent checkpoints. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, phew. Okay, I hit the jump button, but didn't jump. That means I hit it too late, I think. This was a short one. Snake blocks don't get used a lot in Super Mario Bros. X, in my experience. But, you know, could be seen more in the future. I know that they're pretty popular in a uh, Super Mario World X. Hmm? Huh? What happened to the magic show? Analysis. Nature is beautiful. While this presentation feels more like a level, there's at least some good block art showing off. Led astray I've been, for the magic that was promised turned out to be not but void and ash. YW. Bit tame but well communicated. A neat little techno. Now I'm curious as to how much wild jank you can get with snake blocks. Alright, maybe one more level? Yes. Hate to burst your bubble by disaster master. bubbles on the gu line guides. If you fail to do so, the only recourse is death. Well, that's upsetting. Okay. I'm not going to be a fan of this one. A level where you're obligated to kill yourself if you mess up. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Okay. Well, at least there's a checkpoint. Made my momentum. Come on. Okay. Thanks to this block here, you don't need to have these in, exist in perfect relation to one another. And I think that's actually really good design. Alright. And now I do this whole thing again. and then try and get onto the left side. The first one at least had the setup be slightly different after you hit the, uh... Oh, oh, that's what's different this time. You need to last longer on the, uh, one on top. Yeah, you can't bounce off of that. There. Okay, so... Okay! This is weird. Why did I do that? Okay. There's a lack of patience on my part. Goodness, that is a weird thing to see. How 
did you manage to attach these to lion guides anyway? By turning off gravity for them? There. Well, at least that was a short one. And after the first chamber, it was much easier to get things to land on the lion guides. And also frequent checkpoints. I'd say that was actually a really good level. I prefer my bubbles intact, thank you very much. It's cozy being surrounded by people who agree with me, isn't that? Rescheduling boss's therapist appointment to ASAP. The levitation effect presented in the final room was insufficiently demonstrated. Levitation? When the dry bones start zigzagging back and forth, you know they're on a wild ride. Sadly, Pl Puck Glamo's bubble was thoroughly burst. This is such a part. This, such is the life of a party animal. Then why, oh why did you? Thank God, there's infinite mushroom. A very nice showcase of quirks. Neat mechanics. The setups are repetitive, however. Too much jank here. No idea you could put dry bones on tracks though. Hooray for learning something. Yeah, how do you manage to do that? All right, so is this another? Nope. I'm gonna do this one next time. Join me then when I uh, enter the final chamber of the warehouse. Yes.